Welcome back to Introduction to Engineering Design. Today we're going to work on the rest of our ruler. We're going to finish off the markings for the one inch side. You'll notice these are staggered a little differently than the uh, centimeter markings. And the reason for that is uh, this is traditional with a fractional rule. Uh, and on our fractional rule, we're going to use a 16th inch long line to mark the 1 16th tick marks, 8th inch for the 8th inch tick marks. Uh, and then we'll use three sixteenths for the quarter, half, three quarters, and then a quarter inch long mark at our inch intervals. That pattern will then repeat six inches. So I know that's a lot of info to digest. Let's just follow along as we do this together. So what you'll see here is my ruler in its present state. And what I want to do is start a new sketch. But before I do that, I want to get out of my millimeters if you're still in millimeters, go ahead and click on the MMGS, select inch pound seconds. Now we're still going to use some millimeter references and I'll show you how, but most of our measurements are going to be in inches. So let's start a new sketch. Sketch tab, sketch button. Click on the face. Now because we want to flip our ruler over, we're going to start sketching from the right hand side going left. So let's grab our line tool and drop our line tool on the edge, pull it up. Now this line tool, I want to make this my first 1 16th inch. And you're like, I don't know what the decimal equivalent is of a 16th of an inch. That's all right, because what we can do is have the program do the math. So I'm going to go 1 divided by 16. It makes it the right length. And once again, I want to space this a 16th of an inch from the edge. So instead of putting a hard dimension in, I go 1 divided by 16. Lo and behold, there it is. Let's grab another line tool, and this one I'm going to make 1 8 inch mark. Draw my line, it's vertical, dimension it. 1 divided by 8, and 1 divided by 8. Pretty neat. One more time, another line tool. I'm going to draw another sixteenth of an inch. Now, if you're following along here, when I dimension this, I'm going to dimension it again. One divided by sixteen. And I'm going to place this now. I am three sixteenths, or three divided by sixteenths away. So now I've got my one eighth, or one sixteenth, one eighth, 3 sixteenths. Now I could keep doing this, but if you look at our ruler, you're going to see this is a pattern that repeats itself. So I go short, tall, short. And now my next one that I'm going to get is tall. But you know what? I want to hang tight on doing that because what I'll see is I got short, tall, short, short, tall, short, short, tall, short, short, tall, short. Those repeat. And then also I'll see my quarter inch repeat repeat, repeat. So I get four instances of that short, tall, short in every inch. Two, three, four. So let's just save that for right now. And let's go ahead and do our feature an extruded cut right out of the sketch. I'm going to do it exactly the same way that I did it before. I accept instead of using inches here, you remember we did 0.3 millimeters. And I can just type that in, 0.3 millimeters. Tab out of it. I'm doing a thin feature. So I want to be sure thin feature is selected. And then I'm going mid-plane. 0.1 inches. No, I wanted 0.1 millimeters for that thickness. Notice it did the conversion for me. I can zoom in and look. Looks about right, except my cuts. Look at that. Got my first cuts there. So now let's go ahead and do the next cut. So another sketch. Sketch tab. Sketch button. Surface. Line. Zoom in. This time I'm drawing my next mark, which is my quarter inch tick mark. To dimension this 0.250 from the edge 
and we said we wanted to make this height of 3 sixteenths. So 3 divided by 16. And I'm going to exit my sketch, go to my Feature tab, do an extruded cut on that particular mark. Now you may ask yourself, why did I do it that way? Uh, and as I'm doing this, I'll just walk you through. I want it 0.3 millimeters. That'll keep, that's uh, actually 0 0.01181102 inches. And then 0.1 on my thin feature, mid-plane, and that's 0.1 millimeters, not inches. Tiny little line. So I've cut that, and you'll see they're all cut about the same way here. So I'll roll my part over a little bit for you, so you can take a look. It's the same depth. Uh, and you'll say, well, you know, why did you do these first three and then that second one separately? Seems like that pattern repeats, but it really doesn't when you look at the pattern. The pattern repeats the first three and then that quarter inch tick mark, then the next three and a quarter inch tick mark, the next three, a quarter inch tick mark, the next three, and then the long one inch tick mark. So you'll see that my short, tall, short repeats four times in an inch, and then the uh, 3 16 inch quarter or eighth inch mark, or quarter inch mark rather, repeats three times in an inch. So let's do those repeats right now. So I can start to do some linear patterns. So you remember that same tool, linear pattern. Click on my edge for my first direction. Click on my second direction edge. And my repeat here, I'm going to do a repeat. So every quarter inch, I'm going to go ahead and do these first three. So I'm going to put my distance, 0.25. The number that I want to do of these is going to be 4 total. And the features that I'm going to choose is going to be my cut extrude thin four. And you'll see those appear. Looks pretty good. Do my full preview and accept it. But now you'll see I'm missing this quarter inch and I need to do one, two, three of those. So let's do that. Let's do a second linear pattern again long edge is direction one. I'm going to again repeat it at a quarter inch. Let me get rid of that. I don't want my linear pattern in there. Uh, I'm only going to do three repeats of this and the pattern I'm going to use is my cut extrude three. Wow, starting to look like a ruler. And now you'll see what I've got is a sixteenth, one eighth, three sixteenths, a quarter, uh, five sixteenths, three eighths, seven sixteenths, a half, etc., all the way up to fifteen sixteenths. The last thing I need to do is draw an inch line in there. And that's at linear pattern five and linear pattern four. Pretty neat. Let's do one more sketch. Sketch, sketch, surface. Draw my line tool, zoom in so it's about in the right spot. And this one you'll remember that we said we're going to make that 0.25 tall or 1 divided by 4. It'll do the math for you. And then I obviously want to place this 1 inch from my edge. Wow, there's my 1 inch mark. Neat. Accept that. Exit your sketch and go ahead to your features tab, extruded cut. We want to cut that one body out. We're going to go blind. This again is 0.3 millimeters. It's converting for me a thin feature and mid plane 0.1 millimeters. Now I've got all the tick marks for one inch. So let's go ahead and do one last linear pattern all along this bottom edge. My spacing interval is going to be one inch. I'm going to end up with six of these total. 
and you'll see as I move along here I can also pick my other features off of my feature manager design tree <coughs> so from my feature manager design tree I can also select my linear pattern 5 and my linear pattern 4 and I get my entire length moving along there that's all there is to it hit the check mark and my ruler has all of its tick marks that's it for making the marks next up we're gonna put the put the uh, put the numbers on it thanks for watching